how to make a photography website with Squarespace. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys step by step how you can build a photography website with Squarespace. Squarespace allows you to create a website within minutes and you can customize pre-existing templates as well as create your own website from scratch. So let's get into it. Now to get started, simply head on over to squarespace.com and once you're on squarespace.com, click on get started on the top right. From here, you can click on build your own template or you can choose your template. And once you choose your template, you can just log into your account. I'm just going to log in first because I previously have created an account on Squarespace. We're just going to proceed over here. And once you log in to your Squarespace account, I'm just going to click on create website. And from here, we can choose the template that we want. So on the top, you have the topic and the type of website that you're looking to create. You can go on ahead and click on popular designs to see some of the popular designs that are currently trending and that are currently being used. Now for us, we want to click on photography over here and there are over 25 or 24 photography templates available currently on Squarespace. This doesn't mean that this is the limited number of templates. You can actually customize any template to be your photography website. This just depends on your personal preference. So I'm just going to take a look at some of the templates. I really like a lot of these templates. They look super nice and super, you know, clean. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these templates. I think I'm going to take this one over here. This is a pretty eye catching template. So I'm going to click on start with this template. And what it's going to do is that it's going to load up the template so I can begin customizing it to my own. So once we do that, you can see you have your site. I'm going to enter my site name, Dirt and Photography, and then I'm going to click on Next, and then I'm going to click on Next, and then just click on Get Started. Now from here, you will see a preview of your website. This is going to show you a desktop and a mobile version so you can see what your website is going to look like accordingly. Then on the top right, you have your site styles. Now making changes to your site styles makes global changes to your entire site. This can help you in making sure your entire website looks cohesive and a similar color scheme, font scheme, and a similar type of visual look is achieved. So I can click on over here and I can select any font pack of my choice. So I want to click on switch maybe over here and there are multiple different font packs available. So let's say I want to go for this one over here. I'm going to select this and then I'm going to go back. Then I have my button font. So this has all been selected over here. Now after that, I can click on colors and I can click on edit palette. Now from here, I can get started with editing my palette and there are five colors in each palette. The central color is usually the determining color for most people. So let's say I want this to be a pink and the next one, I'm going to take this as a pink and then I'm going to go for the next one over here like so. And then just going into the final color like this. And then from here, I'm going to select our lighter colors. So it's a very pale pink and then white. Now, after I have chosen my color scheme, I can proceed. If you scroll down, you can actually build your color scheme from some of the pre-existing presets. You can also do this via a image and from a color as well. Now I'm going to scroll back. And once I've created my palette, I can get started with my theme. So you have multiple different themes. So light like this one, we have our bright A1 theme. So you can choose whichever one you prefer. It's going to show you all of the different settings that come along with each theme. So I think I'm going to go with a light preset like this one. It looks pretty visually stunning to me. And now once I have customized some of my basic settings, I'm going to close this over here. Now, once I have created some of my basic presets, I'm just going to click on save on the top right and I can begin editing each individual element. So to do that, you can go into your left panel and you can see you have a website guide if you ever feel like you want to get some more help. 
but on your top you have your blog section now from here if i click on this this is going to show me you know my main navigation panel and the sub pages that are going to be linked then we have our shop or not linked section and then we also have a utility section now i'm going to delete the shop section from here and i'm going to click on confirm and this will delete the shop section from my navigation panel now from here you guys can see we have our blog section so this is going to show all of the individual collections that have been created in this template to make these my own i can click on the three dots over here and click on settings and you guys will see the entire blog post you have your image your excerpt your post url and more then you also have the basic content which you can edit now going back into our basic home page what i'm going to do is i can go on ahead and go into my actual website settings now after that you can see you have your main navigation and if there's any element you want to edit you're going to click on over here and you can insert your own blank page page layout a scheduling page and other types of pages as well i'm gonna enter a blank page and let's say i want to call this my personal mission page so i'm going to create this over here now after that i can choose where i want to place this in my navigation let's say i want to place this right here and we're going to delete the shop button so we're going to delete the link and then we're also going to delete you know the actual shop icon like this so now this is my personal mission page which is currently empty now you guys can see in an empty page you can click on edit and click on add section now once i click on add section you guys can see multiple different sections are available so let's say i want to give a brief intro in this now i'm going to take this over here and then we're going to first off i'm going to edit our logo so our site title is Den photography like this and then I'm going to click on save on the top right. And then you guys can see I can edit this section. So visuals as true as the iris can see like this. And then I'm going to remove the button because this is a photography page. And then I can maybe proceed and add another block. And let's say I want to add some text. So we are going to maybe insert a section first and in that section maybe i want to just go ahead and add some text so i'm going to make it like this and then once i've added my section i can you now insert more information about my photography and you know more on that and then once i've completed that i can exit and then continue now if i go into my blog page over here this is illustrative of the different collections so i can convert this and make this into my photography sections or my photography shoots now you guys can see for this you can't edit it in the website editor you're going to click on manage posts and you can remove any of your you know default posts like this so i'll delete the pre-existing default posts to show you guys how it's going to look like with one or two posts and i'm going to click on delete and then we're just going to delete and now this is like one sample post now going back into our blog section i'm going to go into blogs and then i'm going to click on add and now i've added a empty blog now this is going to maybe be my nature photography collection so i can enter that and then i can enter you know more information about my portfolio as well and then just click on save now once you have saved all of your edits you can click on publish on the top left and then you can just copy and your blog or your portfolio or your website will be live and in this way you can build a simple and easy photography website with squarespace so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe